Hey everybody, it's Tanya Atomic. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Glam Light Icy Palette, the Blue Raspberry. Um, I have an unboxing with the with the Cherry Palette where I try that out, um, and I will link that below. Um, it comes in this package, which is pretty much the same. The package is a kind of got a little bit of a shine sheen like holographic sheen to it or whatever and um, this doesn't have that but it's pretty much the same um the glam light collection comes the icy collection also comes with this red palette that i did try out and i'll link that comes with these three lip glosses and and it also comes with this icy cup with a straw, which you can actually use, which is so much fun. Um, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you, and I'll show you how I got this look. Okay, so this is chillin', rosinated, polar bear, and ice cold. I don't know. Why I did a big gap there, but. Sorry about that. Then there's Glacial, Frost, Icicles, and Cool. Then there's Refresh, Icy, Blue Raspberry, Icy, and Melted. Sorry, the swatches are, were bad today. Sorry about that. But there, there's the colors. You can get an idea. I don't know why I swatched this so funky. Um, but here's the palette. And um, it's just super, super beautiful. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you what I did to get this look. I'm going to start with Melted and I'm going to use that on outer corner. Make sort of a wing-like shape. That's very dark and pigmented. However, I can build it up a little in the middle here, in the middle of where I place the color. That is not patchy in the slightest. And if you watch my video for the um, cherry icy, I'm just going to basically do, well, not exactly the same thing, but similar. Build it up in the middle here. That is so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this frozenated and I'm going to blend this into the crease. I got a tiny bit of kick up there powder, which I wasn't expecting. I didn't I didn't even tap off my brushes and I haven't been tapping off the brushes because it's just so, this formula is just so creamy. There's absolutely no kick up and no fallout, except a teeny bit that I just saw. So when I did the cherry, I started in the crease and today I start with the darkest color and I'm blending it out in the crease here. And I'm gonna go a little bit higher with this lightest color here. And I'm wearing the um, blue, I'm wearing this raspberry on my lips. It's pretty much just uh, clear, the little bit of blue sparkle. 
And it doesn't feel too thick, actually. Um, the red one had sort of a thickish feel. But this one does not. It's very thin. Although, I'm wondering now if it has had to do with my application. No. This is still pretty thin. Yeah, it's pretty thin, non-sticky. I wonder if it had to do with um, having it, an extra pigment in there or something. But the red one feels substantial. There's a little bit of heft to it, even though it's also non-sticky. Okay. These are blending so well. The, this sort of reminds me of the Viseart formula, although creamier than Viseart but in the way that it's sort of a bl really blendable pigment where they all blend together really, really well. No harsh lines. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go icicles and blend that into glacial. Okay, so I'm gonna go to icicles. Icicle is a neat, icicles. Is a neat teal color. I'm gonna use cool instead. So I'm gonna put icicles all over. All along the bottom lash that is. And then I'm gonna go into cool. to darken up. Okay, there's a little bit of fallout there. Okay, so beware, there's a little bit of fallout with this cool shade. Let me try to use it slightly differently. I'm gonna kind of wipe down, swipe down like that and not um, spray the brush out as I Lay the product down, and that worked. No fallout, okay. Because um, when I was laying the product down, I was doing it kind of quickly, and it was making the brush kind of splay out, and I think that's where the fallout happened. And then I'm going to take the glacial, the light, kind of bluey teal color, and just, uh, whoa. That is highly pigmented and I didn't mean to do this. I'm just gonna show you. Um, so most shadows, I think there's a little bit of a learning curve with this Glam Light formula. Most shadows won't do this, where you get this really highly pigmented color um, just all laid down right there. Um, I'm gonna have to clean that up. So um, ignore that little area where I cleaned it up, but um, yeah, so that is, that is a little bit of a learning curve that I'm going to have to, to uh, do because th it's not performing like other shadows because they are so pigmented and so strong. So a little goes a long way. So normally I just put shadow all over the brush and blend it all out. That is not um, how I can do that with these shadows. I have to be very careful of the placement because that's where the shadow is going to be. That's where you're going to get pigment. Okay, so I got a little bit of fallout again with this side. I didn't have this problem with when I used the red palette, and I don't know if it's user error in this case or not, but it could be. Um, also, these pigments are very, some of these are very dark. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and I'm going to use Icy on the outer part of my lid. That's I-C-Y, Icy. 
That's so pretty. These are just so wet feeling, creamy. It's a nice shimmer compliment to Melted here, I think. Okay, now I'm going to go into Refresh, which looks similar to Icy. Let's see the difference. Oh no, it's much lighter. I'll use that as sort of a gradient color for, and then I'm going to just do frost. I'm just going to take the other side of that brush and sort of like go in a, in a gradient. And then I'm going to go into, I guess, ice cold. Ice cold is so creamy. Do the rest of the eye. Do the rest of the eyelid, that is. Now I'm going to sort of blend the upper part a little bit more with this um, polar bear. and sort of make a blend in within here where that goes from dark to light. I think that, that definitely gives a little bit of a better blend there. I'm having a mid shade in there. So the other two shades has something to work with. And then I'm going to go into Chillin', the, the lightest blue. Just do a little bit on the inside corner. I'm going to leave it at that and finish everything up. Okay, this is, um, this is everything complete with mascara and eyeliner. I went ahead and put on the Cola lip gloss and I love it <laughs> I love it um I want to say it's a little bit you know user beware kind of um user learning curve kind of thing on these pigments because they are so pigmented and rich and they are um creamy I you have to really worry about you have to really be careful about your placement um it's different than using just a regular powdered eyeshadow where you dip, touch, anywhere you touch the brush to, you're gonna get pretty strong pigment. Um, but the finished result I think is really pretty. I really liked how everything blended, how everything felt. It was just as good as the red palette, but for some reason for me, it um, was a little bit trickier for me to use. I don't think I'll have this problem going forward with this palette because I've had the practice with it now and also I won't be trying to use everything every single shade next time either. Um, I, I did end up using every single shade except for this one here, Blue Raspberry, but I think you get the idea. Um, everything blends together wonderfully and I love it. I think it's really pretty and I think it's one of my favorite formulas now. The red one was a little bit easier to use but I think that this is a beautiful formula as well. And um, this gloss is not thick at all and it's not sticky at all. I don't know why the red one had a thick feeling to it, um, but it did. But um, it wasn't sticky and it wasn't uncomfortable or anything like that. It just had a different kind of viscosity, I guess. Um, anyway, I love it. And I do recommend if you're thinking about it like you want it and you're wondering about the quality, definitely get it because um, if you're if you are hesitating because of quality concerns wondering how the palette performs it performs wonder it's beautiful 
it's beautiful and I suggest to get it if that is your question I'm not trying to push products on you but if you are wondering how it performs it's wonderful so um let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks for watching Thank you.